Gil Scott Heron, Radical Poet, 1949-2011. At half past 50, one should hardly be surprised at death, especially natural death. But we're often betrayed by feelings such as these, as exampled by the recent passing of Gil Scott Heron, a pioneering poet of the 70s and 80s who, with his remarkable baritone, made the smooth transition from protest poet to singer, succeeding brilliantly at both. As poet, his phrasings were often backed up by the percussive power of drums. His later works were backed by a full band of talented musicians, notably pianist Brian Jackson, leader of the aptly named Midnight Band. His poems and songs were often scathing political critiques, which were powerful cultural commentaries, especially in the Watergate era and after Nixon's resignation. Gil Scott Heron's work, like The Revolution Will Not Be Televised and Living in the Bottle, neatly threaded the needle between the political and the personal and enjoyed considerable airplay on black and college radio stations. Like many artists, especially of the jazz era, Gil Scott Heron reportedly utilized controlled substances to feed his head. His influence had a powerful impact on the rap genre, which would succeed him. Gil Scott Heron was 62. From Death Row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.